Hello beautiful peeps, I'm Chris from Techspert and I'm here with what is undoubtedly one of the smartest premium smartphones of 2020 and probably of all time, the Oppo Find X2 Pro. Forget your Samsung Galaxy S20s, definitely forget your iPhone 11s. This thing packs the kind of tech that would make Samsung and Apple drop to their knees and weep salty tears of despair. Like if you can think of it, this thing can probably do it. So 120 hertz quad HD display, absolutely no problem whatsoever. A triple lens rear camera with a fresh new Sony exclusive sensor that can capture remarkable stunning low light photos absolutely no problem at all. Snapdragon 865 chipset with full 5G support, you've got it. So as usual, we're going to get this bad boy unboxed and take you on a full extensive tour of the hardware and the software so you know exactly what to expect from the Oppo Find X2. When it hits stores around early April time, it'll be uh, coming here to Europe for €1,199, so about £1,000. So it's definitely right up there with the Samsungs, the Apples and all that kind of shenanigans, but hopefully should prove actually good value for money considering the premium tech. Now before before we look at the phone itself, let's just check out what you get in the box with the Find X2 Pro. Uh, so you get a nifty condom case, so that'll just help to protect it from the usual wear and tear, keep it looking at nice and pristine, definitely a good thing as it costs pretty much a lot of money. Uh, you've got your Porky Pin device to actually get your SIM in there, you've got your bit of pamphlet action, all good. And then let's just dive in a little deeper, oh this looks good, so it looks like you get a pair of uh, earphones bundled in the box, very cool indeed. They are Type C headphones, uh, so you don't get a headphone jack on the Find X2 Pro. Pro, obviously, uh, but at least you've got the option of uh, connecting a pair of wired phones straight out of the box, and I like the uh, the little bit of uh, green design action there around the circumference. Then they have also got some uh, spare buds for the earphones and you've got of course your type C charging cable as well. And last up in the box is this absolute beast of an adapter. Look at the size of this thing, super big charging. It actually charges at 65 watts. So the Oppo Find X2 Pro can be fully charged from zero in about 38 minutes. And as you can see there, it is basically the same charging adapter as the Super Dot one found in the Realme X50 Pro, which again can charge at 65 watts. Well, there you have it, that's everything you'll find in the Oppo Find X2 Pro box. And just a quick shout out to the box itself as well with all this lovely glittery design, very snazzy indeed. Right, so now let's actually attack the phone itself, get the Find X2 Pro out of its little protective cover and there it is in all of its gorgeous glory. Now you can grab the Pro edition of the Oppo Find X2 in two different hues. You've got bog standard black, otherwise you've got this lovely colourful orange version if you want to inject a bit of colour into your life. And although it is billed as orange, it looks kind of more like a salmony pink, uh, certainly to my eyeballs. Maybe I'm just going a bit insane. And you've got a choice of two finishes with the Pro version as well. You can either get it in a lovely ceramic version, which is kind of like a glass style finish, but even tougher, or you can get this lovely vegan leather version instead. Question is, is it leather that's vegan friendly or is it actually leather that's made from vegans? Not really entirely sure. But I'm definitely loving that soft touch finish though. It feels absolutely fantastic and of course you've got a nice bit of the Oppo Brandon right there down below as well just in case you forgot who actually made this gorgeous smartphone. So let's see if we've got any gas in the tank to begin with. Yes we do, beautiful stuff. So what I'll do now is I'll get the Oppo Find X2 Pro all set up. I will take a full on tour of all of the hardware and software on this bad boy. And bosh, there we have it, the Oppo Find X2 Pro all set up and ready to rock. So it's running a nice bit of Android 10, uh, but of course with Color OS, the latest version 7.1 slathered on top, so adding a whole host of bonus features on there. It would absolutely take far too long to run through all of the best bits right now in this unboxing video. So what I'll do is I'll do a separate Oppo Find X2 Pro tips and tricks guide, run through all of the very best features here on Color OS 7.1. That should be going live not too long after this unboxing video, so stay tuned for that. But if you've used Color OS at all, then you'll know exactly what to expect. It hasn't changed up too much for the last couple of iterations, purely aesthetical changes for the most part. Of course, you do get this gorgeous new dark mode, which is lovely stuff. And if we dive into the display settings, you'll see there's quite a lot of customization for that gorgeous ultra vision display. So yes, it's a 6.7 inch Gorgeous AMOLED display here on the Fine X2 Pro. Absolutely stunning stuff indeed. Maxes out a Quad HD Plus resolution. I'm just playing a 1440p bit of uh, trailer action here so you can really appreciate the crispness of those visuals. Those colors are really, really poppy. You can completely customize, of course, the color output to get a more natural output if you like, but absolutely stunning stuff. Really jumping off that display and it's silky smooth as well. This is a 60 FPS video, which I'm watching right now. It goes all the way up to 120 Hertz refresh rate 
uh, for real impressive smoothness. And the good news is, again, it's all completely customizable. So just dive on into the display settings here on the Find X2 Pro. You'll find that you can play around with the screen resolution. It's on dynamic to begin with, so it'll swap between the likes of Full HD and Quad HD, depending on what you're doing. And also the screen refresh rate is completely uh, dynamic as well which is great news if you want to preserve battery life but still make the most of that display whenever you're watching a video or playing a game, whatever you want. And yes, you can actually get it running at 120 hertz at Quad HD Plus resolution. Stick that in your pipe and smoke it, Samsung. And for the Find X2 and the Find X2 Pro, Oppo has also added in what it has termed its all one Ultra Vision engine. Bit of a clunky name, uh, but what this basically does is it, it kind of acts similar to Sony's X Reality and Bravia Tech on its Xperia 1 Mark II smartphone. It can just give your lesser quality visuals a bit of a boost, so SDR uh, content can be boosted to almost HDR levels. And you've also got a boost uh, for your 30 FPS content with a 60 or 120 FPS. But to ignore that if you do want to boost to 120 fps you will as you can see there have to have it in full hd plus resolution so it can't do that super smart upscaling at that quad hd plus level and apparently the ultra vision engine will be supported by amazon prime video and also youtubes as well so a uh, good bit of support there netflix i think it supports the upscaling to 60 fps but not that full 120. as for the audio well it's a stereo speaker setup here on the oppo find x2 pro of course full support from dolby so you've got dolby atmos and all of that shenanigans on board uh, so let's just zoom in here i like how when you zoom into my videos it just says spur in the corner, lovely stuff. Boost up that volume to the maximum levels. The Find X2s will feel just Whoa. like skinning down a sand dune in a desert with completely unsuitable clothing, just like this chap here. Yeah, that is definitely nice and loud on that top volume. You'll have absolutely no problem hearing that, even in a very noisy environment indeed. And as for the brightness and everything, I've already boosted this up to maximum and frankly, it's ow. <laughs> like it's almost painful to look at, it is so bright. Um, so yes, all good on the visibility side of things. And such for despite the fact that obviously those screens uh, dip around the edges of the phone, I'm having no problem clutching the phone and also swiping about and stuff. I'm not getting any uh, accidental touches uh, for my fingers and my palm fatness. That's definitely a good sign. Now Oppo has managed to cram inside of the Find X2 Pro, the latest, most premium platform that you'll find in any smartphone right now, Qualcomm Snapdragon 865, and it's backed by 12 gigs of RAM as well. So just run a quick Geekbench 5 benchmarking score as you can see here it's got basically the same results as when i benchmarked the 865 out at qualcomm's big launch in december well they helped along by the fact you've got ddr5 ram in there as well so it's uh, faster in the read write and also more power efficient as well so great stuff very premium specs indeed and you do of course get full 5g connectivity stuffed inside the fine x2 pro as well and wi-fi 6 as well so once wi-fi 6 starts properly rolling out you should find you have a nice strong and more importantly more stable connection than uh, with your old smartphones now, admittedly, the Find X2 Pro might not boast as big a battery as some of its rivals, like, uh, for instance, the S20 Plus, the S20 Ultra. It's got a 4,260 milliamp cell packed in there, but it does support some very, very clever tech indeed. For one, of course, you've got that 65 watt fast charger, which should fill up the phone in about 38 minutes, which is absolutely brilliant, fantastic. If you don't want to leave it charging all night, just plug it in when you get up. By the time you've had your shower, had your, your bit of wheat bix and all that, it'll be ready to go. Sadly, there's no support for wireless charging, though. They couldn't quite manage to fit it in here on the Fine X2 Pro. But here is not the end of the world by any stretch of the imagination. And when it comes to the storage, it's more good news as well. I believe that's tucked away in additional settings. Yep, there we go. We've got 512 gigs in total packed in there. Absolutely stunning stuff. Unfortunately, however, there is no room for a micro SD memory card in there or anything like that. Just a single SIM and that's your whack. So now let's turn our attention to that triple lens rear camera, which is packing some very smart tech indeed. So what you've got here is a 48 megapixel primary lens, f1.8, and that uses Sony's exclusive new IMX689 sensor, more on that in a bit, with a bit of optical image stabilization. On top of that, there's also a 48 megapixel ultra wide angle lens using the IMX586, still a popular sensor out there, and a 13 megapixel periscope zoom lens with a 10 times hybrid zoom or 60 times digital. So I will of course be fully testing out the Oppo Find X2 Pro's camera tech and bringing you an in-depth review. But for now, we'll just have a quick tour of the software and sort of check out the main features and everything. Really, really hoping that this thing can capture stunning looking photos in pretty much any conditions. So first up, the camera app looks very familiar. If you've used an Oppo smartphone in recent times, you'll know what to expect. You can tap on the old AI mode to get a bit of dazzle color on the go. Very handy if you're shooting a vibrant or vivid subject. Otherwise, if you just prefer a more natural finish, you can just knock that right off. You've got the usual auto HDR and everything. Kind of course, shoot 
shoot uh, portrait shots, which gets a nice bit of bokeh action on the go. And you can just change the level of bokeh there, but that's pretty much it. It's fairly subdued as far as some of these portrait modes go. You do, of course, have a dedicated night mode as usual, which just takes lots of uh, different shots and different exposures. It'll take more shots if it's obviously a very dark uh, scene and then splice them all together for a brighter result. And you've also got a tripod mode as well. If you've actually got your phone in a tripod, that'll take a really, really long exposure shot to get gorgeous results because of course it'll be nice and steady and of course you've got a handful of other bonus modes as well the usual pro controls if you fancy fiddling about with the white balance the exposure levels all that kind of shenanigans so great stuff if you actually know what you're doing and you can shoot in a raw format as well as good old jpeg and when you're shooting your home movies as well you can change the resolution you can shoot all the way up to 4k resolution at 60 frames per second as well so a we'll match for the likes of the Apple iPhones and uh, such forth. And for the Find X2, Oppo has also added in some fresh new audio smarts as well. So as you can see, you can either do 3D audio recording or you can really hone in on whatever you're pointing the camera lenses at, kind of similar to the iPhone 11. And there's also a new reduced wind noise filter as well, which seems to work well in demos. Again, I'll be fully testing that out for my review, so stay tuned. And then yes, of course, you've got that front-facing selfie cam as well. Unfortunately, it's not one of those snazzy pop-up efforts like we got in the original Find X2, which is a bit of a shame, but here, oh, you've got usual portrait smarts so you to be pretty good at your face detection there uh, and uh, video wise let's just see what resolution you can shoot video at so looks like that tops off at 1080p sadly you can't do full 4k with this bad boy that is a bit of a shame but here ho and so there you have it that in a nutshell is the oppo find x2 pro a premium flagship smartphone absolutely crammed full of impressive tech will it live up to expectations i really really hope so stay tuned for my in-depth review be bringing you a full camera review and of course a full tour of that color os 7.1 software as well coming probably about a day or so after this unboxing goes live uh, please do put subscribe ding that notifications bell and have yourselves a lovely week people cheers love you <laughs>